Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Meli. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on my social media to stay updated of when I will be filming, go ahead and follow me. I'll leave them somewhere right here. <laughs> I'll also leave them down in the description box. As you guys can see by the title, I will be filming my everyday makeup routine, which is this right here. <laughs> so since the whole coronavirus and stuff, we are in quarantine right now. So I was like, you know what? What's not a better time to film than now? Like, I'm literally home all day now, so I literally can't make any excuses. So this is why I'm here. Hopefully I can film more. But yeah, without further ado, if you guys do want to see my everyday makeup routine, then go ahead and keep on watching. And yeah, as you guys can clearly see, I look like death without makeup. Like I look so freaking bad, which is why I am beyond grateful for makeup because if not, then I'd be walking around looking like this. <laughs> and I know a lot of people be like, oh, that she wear too much makeup and blah, blah. I don't honestly I don't care I feel pretty makeup so I'm gonna do what I feel more confident in period oh disclaimer just so you guys know I am no makeup artist I honestly don't know what I'm doing but it's been working for me for the past years and clearly like I don't think I'd be walking around looking like a clown so I just be doing what I do so please don't judge if I'm doing something backwards or wrong or anything it's just like the way I do it. So for my foundation, I usually like to go for a matte finish. I don't like like it to look oily or glossy or anything like that, which is why I recommend Fenty. Uh, my shade is a 210. I honestly don't believe it's a 210 because every time I look wear this, I literally look like an orange. It does not match my neck. But every time I go to Sephora, they always tell me this is my color. So I'm just like, I mean, I guess. I think my neck is just like personally like light and my whole body and my face is like the same color. It's just my neck that's like... A whole different color but it's okay we gotta work with what we got if i be looking at the orange so be it whatever <laughs> my beauty blender i just got like a whack ass one and honestly like it is not really different so i've been using this one i think it's from walmart i don't know <laughs> honestly all my stuff is cheap but i always like find a way to like like you'll see what i mean when i say i'm cheap i usually like go like this on my face oh my god guys like this video is gonna be so trash because i don't know what the fuck i'll be doing <laughs> obviously um it's pretty clear uh you just want to like dab your face until everything's nicely blended i always go like this on my neck too the next thing i do is i take my concealer the tarte shape tape i use a 125 honestly i just picked out a color i don't even know if this is like my like the shape for me as a concealer but i mean it works for me so that's all i gotta say um i want to say this is like a lot lighter for me but that's why i just use a little bit i just like go like this and that's honestly all i do this right under because sometimes i feel like regardless if i do it i always crease i don't know why if you guys know how to like not crease like make this part crease like please like comment down below because yeah please help a girl out <laughs> after i do that i take like i think this is like an elf brush yeah, an elf brush then i take my uh, morphe translucent powder and i honestly just like lightly dab it and like remove the excess or whatever who am I? <laughs> and then I just lightly dab it all over my face. Um, I'm not someone who really like set powder like under my eyes or anything like that. Honestly, just apply this all to my face because I felt like it like, kept my makeup on longer. So this is what I'd be doing. Like I said, I don't know if I'm doing this right. People are probably judging me right now, but I don't care. You'll see the end results look the same as if like I did my makeup the correct way. First thing I do is bronze my face. I don't really contour just because... <laughs> I don't got anything to contour and honestly I just prefer bronzing like I don't know if I need a contour to bronze but I use this Real Techniques brush I think it's number 200 this Maybelline City Bronzer over here where my ear is and I go out and then I honestly just keep applying until like I'm satisfied with it I use like whatever is uh, left on my brush and go above or right here on my forehead camera is catching this where it's super dark but on my mirror it look okay <laughs> so if it looks harsh on there i'm sorry i take this little angled brush and on my nose my oh my nose is like crooked and stuff um i broke my nose at all so i like try to be careful and i try to make it as straight as possible but sometimes i can't because it's kind of curved i don't know if i do this right okay but honestly i feel like it doesn't look bad when i do it 
I always go like this just to like buff it out and not make it as like harsh or anything because I know I won't be looking like Kim Kardashian or anything and I don't want to <laughs> go off looking like an idiot. The next thing I do is um, blush. I used to be someone who like didn't really use blush but for some reason like, I just put it on one day. I was trying to be extra or something and I was like okay <laughs> and so now I've been wearing it every day and I honestly I stole this from my mom. Uh, she uses a LBL. LBL. It's supposed to be a highlighting, uh, like a highlighting brush but I just use it for blush. So I just like go like this, whatever. And I smile. But I just feel like it brightens your face a lot. It adds color and stuff and I just think it's really cute. Whatever is left on my brush, I don't like to dip it in here because I'm not trying to have my nose all red. But I just like, I feel like it adds like something. I don't know. Well, I see a lot of people do it, so I just do it. <laughs> and I think it looks cute. So that's it. That's what I do. Alright, so the next thing I do is curl my lashes. So let me do that real quick. So, yeah. So I curl my eyelashes. I use the last sensational Maybelline one. I'm just under pressure right now, honestly. <laughs> I'm trying to not look like a baby. But, you know, we all know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So the next thing I do is my eyebrows. This is the thing where I feel like people are going to judge the heck out of me. One, because I don't do my, my eyebrows first. I know a lot of people do that. I personally have tried doing that and it's just something that doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I usually would use the Anastasia like dip brow. I ran out of it and I was going through a financial crisis, okay? And I like obviously needed to do my eyebrows. So I just like grabbed this random ass palette that I had. And honestly it worked for me and I was like... Okay, I ain't mad, so I've just been doing that um, for the past few months because a girl is trying to save her money. <laughs> I was like, please don't judge me. Honestly, like someone really needs to teach me how to do eyebrows. My eyebrows are just freaking ugly, like that's period. And I can't really do anything to fix them. So the next thing I do is I take this uh, Morphe M508 brush. I usually use my foundation just like to clean it up first with this. Yeah, that's honestly the best cream I get. So the next thing I do is put my eyelashes on. My eye weaves. They're the Lash Bar LA and the Style Heartbreaker. They're very natural at the same time. They like, they give a little oomph. Which is why I love them. These are literally hanging off a thread right now. I'm so upset because I need to restock on them and she hasn't restocked and I'm literally like I need my eyelashes ASAP because I love to have so many of them since like if anything happens like I just have another pair I can like whip out and stuff for my eyelash glue I like to use the duo yeah alright and then as I wait for that to dry because I don't like to um, apply them instantly I like them to be a little damp I take this little brush <laughs> And I usually go like, I just dip it a little bit in the black and go like this and I apply this under my eye. So as my eyelashes are still drying, I'm going to apply highlighter. I'm going to show you guys my actual highlight, um, but like I said, I'm broke and can't afford. As you can see, I literally have nothing left in here. I would use the... Uh, Fenty Beauty, uh, Mean Money, and Hustle Up Baby. But honestly, like I finished it so quick because like I love highlight. I'd be like, um, so I was just like, fuck. And you know, you sometimes you just gotta improvise. You gotta work with what you got. So I have this ColourPop palette, the Bare Necessities one, and I've been using this Idol Hour. This one, it's like a champagne color. And honestly, dude, like that shit be popping like i am not upset that like um like i'm not upset that i don't got highlight right now i take this brush and i apply it i love highlight i don't get how some people don't wear highlight like i cannot go anywhere without my highlight my eyebrow art i don't know whatever you know what i'm talking about I just put it right here. 
So now it's time to apply my eye weaves on. Let's grab my eyelash. Since I wear eyelashes every day, a lot of people always tell me like, like how do you have the time to do your makeup? And I'm just like, gen honestly, like, it takes me 20 minutes to do my makeup. Like 20 minutes. This is something that like I've been doing every day. So yeah, like I always tell them like, popping on my eyelashes is literally the easiest thing. It's just like, drop and go. <laughs> So my eyelashes are on. The last thing I like to do is apply mascara on my bottom lashes. Like sometimes when I do have like leftover on the makeup wipe and I just uh, like gently go through it. Go ahead. See, I'm not talking to you. Go to sleep. Sorry, my Siri just be acting up sometimes. Like I don't even be calling her and she like she's like, what do you need? And then when I actually need her, she don't freaking answer me. I'm just like, okay, bitch. <laughs> so finally, like the last thing I do is my lipstick. For my lipstick, um, I use the Kylie lipsticks. I use the Dolce K and Expose. The first one I use is the Dolce K. Dolce K. Dolce K. That's how you say it. I don't know. one I use is the exposed one um, since it does like a little look a little dark I just go like this and just like rub my lips all around that's basically it that's literally all I do for my makeup it may be a little extra for some people but this is what I like to do so with that being said that concludes this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys do want to see more videos like this um, I'm sorry like I said I don't really know what I'm doing but I can always try more videos like this or just like any videos in general go ahead and leave a comment down below um, you guys can DM me on my social media which I'll leave right here so I didn't realize that I didn't say or mention anything subscribing to my channel because I was honestly in such a rush to film the intro and outro since my battery was literally about to die so if you guys haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we do some fun stuff on this channel, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!